What up? I haven't filmed a vinyl haul in a minute, uh, probably because I uh, haven't filmed anything in a minute. So guess how many records I have stacked up ready to share with you today. Ooh, it's not good for the pocketbook, but it is sure good for the mind. Um, pocketbook. Why is that the word my brain chose? Anyway, uh, do you want to see some records? Do you want to see some records? I didn't need them all. Sorry, did it get darker in here? I accidentally said the word shelf and then sang the entire Jonas Brothers song shelf to myself before I noticed what I was doing. I will not be sharing that recording with you. Instead, I will be sharing some beautiful records with you. If you have picked up anything cool in the last nine months, let me know below because I am clearly always looking for more vinyl that I don't need. So share with me your cool pressings so that I know where to throw my money that I need for other things, but I will spend on vinyl. Also, hey, a cool thing that happened in the time I was not filming, so nobody knows, um, I started a store. It's called Camp Unlost. This is a shirt from it, but I also sell vinyl, which is why I'm telling you this. I actually bought, <laughs> um, I bought a bunch of the records for myself. I put them up for sale and then I bought them, which is not how you're supposed to run a business, but I did buy them for full price because I just wanted them and like I already knew they were cool pressings because I only stock cool pressings. Anyway, I'll start with those ones just to get them out of the way. They're really cool. Okay, so the first one that I picked up from my own store is Calpurnia's album Scout. You may know Calpurnia. Um, Finn Wolfhard is in the show Stranger Things, but he's also in this band and they're fantastic and Canadian. And you should check out this record for sure. They're like teenagers and they're great. It's pressed on, I believe this was called Swimming Pool Blue. It really is Swimming Pool Blue. It looks like there's like water. Oh yeah, that's a better angle. There you go. It's a pretty one. I really like it. I actually haven't had a chance, oh, stand. forgot about the static when I do this. Um, I haven't actually had a chance to spin this one yet. The house that we are currently in has no soundproofing, so if I listen to vinyl, the whole house has to hear it. So I haven't actually gotten to spin a lot of my records lately, which is really sad. The next one is a pressing that I have been obsessed with for years. I actually think I first saw it on Tumblr, like a really long time ago. So I don't even, I don't even think I collected vinyl back when I, I don't remember. So many years have passed, but it's real friends, maybe this place is the same, and we're still changing. This is one of my favorite albums. I have a pressing of it already, but it's just got the birdhouse on it. It was like a tour exclusive with a different sleeve, and I got the last copy that they had for the whole tour, which was pretty exciting. Um, but now I have this one because I was obsessed with this pressing. I thought about it all the time. I think I used to see it on Instagram a lot too, on vinyl accounts, and be like, now it's mine. I love it. It's a, uh, oh man, there's like a cool name for this and I can't remember what it is. But there was like, oh my God. It's like a totally different record, but they're both beautiful. I love it so much. Um, this album's really good though. If you don't like Real Friends, I think this album is a good place to start. I don't know. I always say I'm not into pop punk and then everything I say directly conflicts with that statement. So I just don't know anymore. I'm just gonna stop saying anything. I like things and I don't like things and that's all there is to it. Next is their new album. I got Real Friends album Composure, which is also a fantastic album. I really liked this one. I was I was hopeful because I really liked the first single from the outside, and then the album was fantastic. So hey, that's always really fun when that happens. So this one is actually, it's a gatefold. Lots of birds. If you like birds, lots of birds. But then the pressing itself is kind of like the kelp. No, it's not really. Oh my god, I forgot how beautiful this was. But look at that. Look at that pressing, gotta get some of that light on there. Ooh, ah, that is oppressing. Okay, that doesn't even, they're all oppressing. Am I okay? <laughs> I really like this one. It's so well marbled. We all know my, my long history with splatter records that don't splatter, marble records that don't marble. Look, my luck has changed. And I got this from my own store, so if I had bought one from myself, and it wasn't splattered, I would sue myself. If you like any of those, I will leave the link to that store down below. I kind of want to do like a mystery box thing where you order a record and then I pick one for you based off of like 
what you like. Kind of like a vinyl subscription service, but you actually just like buy a mystery box and I send you like a record and a pin or a patch or something cool. I don't know. Let me know what you think about that idea. I just have a lot of ideas and I don't know what to do with all of them. They just bounce around for a while. So the next record is actually another testament to the fact that I can't just choose one pressing despite the fact that they all play the same album. I'm just weak and I don't know how to not buy into the whole exclusive thing and I'm weak and I'm weak so weak. Um, Trophy Eyes put out a great new album called The American Dream and I could go on for hours about how much I love this band and their refusal to just fit into the genre stereotypes of old. I think genre's dead. That's just my opinion. But the fact that they're just willing to do what they think sounds good and then just go with that, I love that. So they put out this album, The American Dream, and the pressings were beautiful. And even though they all play the same album, I was like, oh, I need all of them. And then when I was on the web store, I noticed that they also had a pressing of Chemical Miracle that I didn't have. Mmm, and that's how I ended up with all of these. So let's start with Chemical Miracle, shall we? Uh, this is Chemical Miracle. Have you met her? I already have at least one other pressing of this one. Don't really remember. Maybe there's more. I don't want to talk about it. This album was fantastic. I listened to it all winter, last winter. I'm ready to start spinning it this winter again. I think the pressing I got, I remember opening it and it felt like gritty, like there was sand because sometimes when they do the like, the type of pressing it was, they end up gritty. I remember somebody explaining that to me in the comments. Um, this one is not gritty, but it's beautiful. I saw so many people with this pressing online and I was so mad I didn't have it, but I feel like it used to only ship from Australia and I wasn't down to pay those shipping costs, so I just kept like putting it off and sulking, um, but I really wanted this for so long and I know there was a reason I didn't get it, but then when I was ordering the other ones anyway, you know, when in Rome, spend all your money on vinyl you don't need. Um, and then we have the American Dream, don't know which of the two pressings this one is, but if you like music, you might like this album. It's fantastic. I love it front to back, but my favorites probably include, oh, Oh, I wrote a whole blog post about this album. Um, there were a couple songs that just made me like cry and feel really like uneasy inside and it was a Cotton Candy Sky and a Symphony of Crickets. It was like ASMR but painful and hurtful. You should listen to that, but Lavender Bay is definitely the best song on this album. The key change? Amazing. So, oh okay, so this is the white one. So this is the white splatter pressing with black, yellow, and red and it's fun. We need to get that, I need to get a light, I need to get like a ring light. People get them so their makeup looks nice and their eyes sparkle. I just want it so my vinyl looks nice. <sighs> but it's a nice pressing, yes? And then of course I have another copy of that one, because why wouldn't I? This one is a tricolor, white, yellow, red. It is so sad that I had to think about that before I said it out loud. My last two brain cells are quaking. Um, yeah, it's getting darker in here. I really love that it is not even five o'clock and it's dark because Canada is so far from the equator. But yeah, this is another this is another pressing. They're very fun. They're in the web store, I think. I don't think they're all sold out. So if you want one, they should still be there. I'll find links, I'll leave them below too. Um, it's on merch now. And then yet another example of how I have to buy multiple pressings of everything. Like Pacific, in spite of me, I got two copies of this as well. I also love this album. These are also our hometown boys, so gotta support, gotta buy all the pressings. I got them from Pure Noise, so they're also merch now, so I'll leave the link to that as well. But I got, they had like a, one of the pressings you could only get if you bundled it with the other pressing, and that was the pressing I wanted, so I got both. You guys are schemers, but you know what you're doing, and it worked. So, this is, you cannot see the color of that very well on, on that, but it's purple. Hang on, what if I use my phone? How am I gonna hold this? I'm gonna hold it on my head and my shoulder. There you go. Hey, this is a new way of doing things that is not practical at all, but look how purple it is. It's, it's very purple. Okay, we're done, we're done with that. But a beautiful pressing nonetheless. I really like this one actually. The color turned out really cool. And I like how it contrasts with the yellow. And as for the other one, this is the one that I really wanted. Um, beautiful. It's blue and purple mm, smash. 
I believe it's called, with some yellow splatter. This side is more yellow splatter. The other side, I don't really know what's going on. There's a lot going on over there. It seems like something. I don't remember how to film. Next, we have a record from an artist that really proves how long it's been since I last made a video because I have not even had the chance to mention him on this channel since I started listening to him. Um, it's Joji. So you haven't heard of him here, but you've definitely heard me talk about him mm, everywhere else. I saw him live last month, two months ago. Amazing. Loved it. Loved every minute of it. He has a show here in February. I couldn't get tickets. I am going to Mission Impossible my way in from the roof and watch from a cord at the sky. That's the plan. Um, so this is his EP. I should probably mention that. I'm just too busy talking about Joji. Um, this is his EP, In Tongues. Fantastic EP. His new album is out now called Ballads One. I'm waiting on my vinyl from that. Also fantastic. Really like the song No Fun. So if you're looking for a song, that, yeah right. Um, off of this one you should listen to Demons and Will He. Those are my recommendations, I'm just saying. Um, but when this arrived, I was nervous because I got it from Urban Outfitters and it said it was this purple pressing and then the sticker on it just said clear and I was like, that is not the pressing I ordered, oh my god. Oh my god. And I was like, I can't even ask them to send me the proper one because it sold out so fast. It's definitely gone. And I was like, this sucks. And then I opened it ready to be sad and like disappointed. Everything was fine. Literally have no idea why they did that or what happened. Um, oh, is this another situation where I need to get my phone out? Hang on, let's balance things. It's purple. This is the proof that it is purple. Why does purple not show up on camera? Why does this look so much cooler? I mean, the record looks cooler. I definitely don't look cooler in this situation, but that's fine. Hmm. I thought I already showed you all the records I picked up multiples of, but I, uh, I forgot that I also picked up two of the Mains album, Less Noise, because I am the worst. So I actually picked up two copies of this because they were both available and so I had no control and download no control on iTunes. Oh my god, I think someone's died. That's so horrible. Buy no control on iTunes. So if you didn't actually hear this album yet, it's a bunch of like acoustic and kind of toned down versions of some of their other songs. It's really beautiful to listen to, honestly. I really liked it. I had a good description of it when it came out and now I can't even remember, but it felt like I don't know, like Ryan Adams doing a cover of The Main. I don't know, it was really cool. But anyways, these are both really nice pressings. I love them. They actually got delayed because the first batch didn't turn out the way they wanted, but I want a copy from that batch because my brain is going, that's super exclusive. They didn't even want it. So this first pressing looks like blood in the water. That's the only way I can describe it. It's supposed to be like Americana. Its name is Americana, but there's not a ton of blue. So it just looks like um, somebody died and fell in a pool and the water got all bloody, you know? There is a little bit of blue. You can see some over here. That's kind of it. But please, before I get dragged, I'm not saying that in a bad way. I literally don't care if there is blue in it or not. I am just happy to have it because it's the main and it's vinyl. And my brain isn't focused on what color the pressing is. It just wants all of the pressings. And then the next pressing is this Coke Bottle Clear. It's a little bit more turquoisey than a usual Coke Bottle Clear, but on camera, it looks perfect. No need to balance this and use a flashlight today. That sounded like Professor Frank and I'm really sorry. Next, we have another stack of things because I had to divide them up because there were too many, they kept falling over. <laughs> Things are going great. My record shelf is full. There is no space for more records. I am trying to find new places to stack them in the room. It is not going well, and that is fine. We will pretend it is fine. So I actually have a bunch of 21 Pilot stuff. So I have the CD that came with the pre-order, and there was a patch, and there was a bandana, there was a whole thing. And then there was this, which I thought was Trench when I ordered it. They were like, oh, it's limited to 40,000 copies. And I was like, well, that doesn't seem very limited, but I still want to have Trench on vinyl. So I ordered it. And it is not Trench. It's the Trench 10 inch triplet EP. So it still said Trench, it just wasn't Trench. It was 
trenchy pee. My brain did not process this. So anyways, I was very surprised when this went on sale not too long after, but I was like, well, I mean, I'm gonna order them all anyway. Oh my god. I lifted that up and realized I have another record I bought multiple copies of. I'm gonna put this back down. Hide my mistakes. So, the Trench Triplet EP, huh? Let's look at that. So yeah, this is it. It's yellow, it's translucent, it's a uh, 10 inch EP. I was shocked, and that is fine. It means I got two things, and they're not the same record in two different colors. They're the same color of two different records. An interesting twist for me. Um, speaking of 21 Pilots, I wrote four articles about them for Billboard this summer. I'll leave the links below if you want to check them out. I like completely dove into the world of Trench and like tried to decode all of the different messages and lyrics and like video hints and clues. So if you've been trying to figure it out and have been like, this is extreme, don't worry, I did it for you. So I will leave those links. I sacrificed my sanity for the good of the team. You're welcome. Let's look at Trench. So Trench is equally yellow. Not sure if you see a theme with this uh, with this era. It's yellow. So yeah, this one is yellow too. I uh, that's about all I have to say about that. Trench is a great album. What do you guys think? I forgot. I have not made a video about that, so we haven't spoken about it. I love this album. I think it's fantastic. Leave the city. You mean cry in my car? I actually think I love almost every song. There's a couple where I'm just kind of like, eh. But for the most part, I'm like connected to them. I would die for them. I would kill for them. So hey, here's my latest mistake. I got two copies of Boston Manor's Welcome to the Neighborhood. I am so surprised, said nobody that watched the first 300 minutes of this video. It's fine. So uh, let's take a look at these pressings. I have been trying to relaunch my vinyl Instagram at the same time as this. Um, just so that I feel like these records have served some sort of purpose besides feeding my weird need to buy them. And everybody seemed to really like this one. Um, it is uh, a lot of marbling and splattering and such. Honestly, I, I know there's terms for everything, I just don't care anymore. Like I feel like this year I just got old and like didn't care about the lingo and everything anymore. I just like collecting records. I don't actually care about the terminology and like gatekeeping who's allowed in and who's not and who's cool enough to know everything and who has the wrong turntable. I just don't care. So, this is a nice record. I like it and I like the album. Flowers in Your Dustbin, banger. Love it. The whole thing with the balaclavas feels very old 21 Pilots. Really enjoy that I could wear a balaclava again and instead of it seeming like I'm gonna rob the place, I can be like, I just really like Boston Manor, and everybody goes, oh, yo, sick, me too. And then the other pressing, I believe, is clear with black and red, maybe some white splatter. Just black and red, I was close. Yeehaw, look at that. More balaclavas, beautiful, but uh, another beautiful record. I feel like everybody's really stepping their game up with pressings because, I don't know, I think they know they're gonna make more money because they're literally sitting there going, hey, Page Backstage will buy one of every single one if we make 16. Do you want to sell 16 records really easy? And they're like, yeah. And then here I come. Now here's something that I'm pretty excited about just because of who it is. Um, I have this little flexi disc uh, from New Damage and it's of Heavy Heart's single Cut Too Deep, which is one of their new songs. Their new album is gonna be amazing. I am so excited. If you haven't listened to this yet, please do. Um, if you haven't listened to their old album or their old EP yet, obviously you haven't been listening to me first off, so um, that hurts, but that's okay. Um, their album Bliss and their EP On A Chain are both fantastic. On A Chain specifically, like there's a lot of growth there, but then with this album, there's even more growth. So like, can't wait, wow. This is so white, it's making me look less pale. <gasps> I'm keeping this in frame for the rest of the video. <laughs> I look healthy. Damn, who's she? But yeah, Heavy Hearts. Expect to hear about them a lot more on this channel because I uh, never shut up about them. And I'm really gonna be taking this opportunity to continue not shutting up about them. Thank you so much. Um, and then, the last thing I have, I know, we reached the end already, thank God. It's only been three days since we started watching this. Um, we have Yumi at Six and their album, Six. 
I love you, Mia Six. I feel like I've already said the number six too many times, so I'm gonna try to stop now. Um, I've loved them for a really long time. They disappeared for far too long. I saw them at Reading Festival. They did like a surprise set at the pit stage and everybody lost their collective minds. But now I think they're not on their label anymore. They released this through AWOL, which is like a distribution company, but not a label, I think. So that was kind of interesting, but I'm really glad. It's a fantastic album. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, the video for 3AM when they do like a choreographed dance routine, really, really connected with that as like a boy band fan. Boy band fan. That's great. Boy band fan. English. Um, a great album. You should totally listen to it. And these guys, it's just really good to see them back in, on their A-game. Like, I feel like they disappeared for so long, I thought maybe they were just gonna leave, and it kind of hurt. But to see them back and performing as well as ever feels really good. So let's look at this record. If it's a theme that you see on a lot of these records today, bright yellow. I didn't wear this shirt on purpose. I just wore it because it was on the top of the pile of clothes. <laughs> Anyway, yellow, beautiful, love it, love yellow. And it also came with this single of, what's on here again? 3AM and Fast Forward, which were two of the singles. So it came with this little guy, which is super fun, and I love that too. So, wow, that's it. My first vinyl haul in a million years. Thank you so much for watching. Please tell me about your pressings below. If I don't have a link below for something that you're looking for, let me know and I'll go find it for you. Um, happy vinyl collecting. Um, I'll leave a link to my vinyl Instagram below too. I know a lot of people don't like my normal one because it's, you know, me and my life. So if you just want to look at records, I'll leave that for you too. Um, follow me on social media so we can talk about records and other things and the music that I haven't talked about that has come out in the last six months. Oops. Oh, uh, it's fine. But hey, it's really good to see you guys. Thanks for being here. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have anything specific you would like to see on this new channel, tell me below, send me an email, um, send like smoke signals into the sky, whatever works for you. I just have a lot of ideas myself, but if you guys have anything specific, I will add it into my list. I have this like new motivation to do so much stuff. So like, let me know, let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching. It was great seeing you. I will see you again soon. Bye.